Hello everyone, welcome. My name is MJ Petridge. Welcome to another P3D video and today we're in version 5 and we're going to take a look at the enhancement pack version 2 that I've put together. Uh, this will be the final uh, enhancement pack for those of you who are still using version 5. I've uh, in sort of redone the shaders and this enhancement pack is available you don't need any external shader program to use it everything is built in and i'm going to show you exactly how to use it so what we're going to do is we're going to go for a quick flight here in um we're in the commander here and we're going to go for a nice little flight around hawaii and uh, it's beautiful and uh, it's early morning. The sun is about to rise, probably in about 20 minutes. So we'll go for a flight and we'll see what's what. Okay. We looks like we're clear for takeoff here. So uh, let's take this puppy to the sky and let's have a look at her. So. Oh, sorry about your truck there, mate. <laughs> Shouldn't park it so close to an airplane, mate. Although I would have had a pushback, really. So we're here in uh, Honolulu Airport, uh, which is by FS Dream Team. And I've got Orbex Honolulu in. And also I've got a f sort of freeware and a little bit of payware of the Hawaii Islands. And also we have my terrain pack my oceanic pack and my sky pack for version 5 and I've basically redone the shaders um, adjusted some of the terrain files um, because there's been an update to version 5.4 which meant that the trees I had kind of stood out a bit weird so I've changed all that and we need our landing lights on that's better and uh, yeah Everything looks good. I've also reconfigured my GPU, um, which I'll do a separate video on, but um, uh, I'm taking advantage of uh, basically my anti-aliasing. Let me just uh, show you. My anti-aliasing in this video is literally just the bare minimum. Um, and I'm not doing any anti-aliasing in the GPU either. It's literally all being done by the CPU. And I am getting much better performance than I have ever had in P3D. Usually I'll get about 15 frames at this location. Because for some reason out here is heavy hitting. But right now I'm getting 30 FPS. And I'm recording. And I'm recording off my GPU as well. Um, and if we have a look at my GPU and see what it's doing... It's only being used like 40%, 50%. Like, seriously, I, some wizardry is going on here. Right, let's go. Flaps, trim, take off. So the reason I've chosen to take off at this time is so you can sort of see what it looks like at the crack of dawn, which is the worst time for the P3D sim. I think we'll go in the air with that. Right, so let's get these wheels up. And our flaps. We'll arm our uh, autopilot as well. So we want to be climbing 1,000 feet. And we'll head out over the skyline of um, Honolulu there. So let's do a course for 120. And our pitch is a little bit okay. We can bring that down a bit. So yeah, like I was saying, I've basically reconfigured some of my um, uh, settings in my GPU for much better performance. And uh, smooth as butter. Even when recording. Oh man, 
Honolulu by night. Beautiful. Look at that. I mean, there's not much to say there, is there? Absolutely gorgeous. So basically what the terrain pack is, uh, or sorry, what, what the enhancement pack is, is it takes my previous packs and it basically is configured for 5.4 only. So if you're still on 5.3, um, you don't need to be using this. The shaders and the terrain files are spe set specifically for 5.4. Uh, the way shadows are done in 5.4 is handled a little differently than 5.3. So um, if you try and use this in 5.3, it just won't look right. And you probably mess up your shaders, to be honest. I don't think they changed the shaders, but I changed my shaders. So it probably won't look 100% like it should. All right, let's get in the plane here and start thinning out this and uh, take some power off. Let's get the, try and get the most here out of her. We can pitch down a bit. So we're going to do a loop-de-loop -loop of this island here. Um, so we can see what's what. Stars are shining bright in the sky. Beautiful. There's Honolulu Airport over there. So like I said, I'm going to do a separate video for what I've done to my GPU and my settings in P3D. Because I think uh, I've really found a... And it doesn't... I don't think it will matter what GPU you have. As long as there's NVIDIA GPU. Um, I found a real sort of clever way to um, get massive amount of performance. I've never been able to get 30 FPS in this plane at, uh, in Honolulu. And the fact that I can now, I think, uh, I, I mean, it, this I've, I could probably even get 50 FPS. Um, and my sliders aren't like that high, like or low rather. So um, we go have a look into it. You know the sliders aren't uh, exactly low, but they're not. I mean, they're they're average, I guess. They're they're mid average. Anyway, how do you install this? So, like I said before, uh, this doesn't require the use of any um, shader program. In fact, it will work best if you're not using a shader program. Um, everything's been sort of pre-done, so you don't have to really worry. But if you are using a, a shader program, unfortunately, I'd recommend not installing the shaders. Um, because it will go against whatever settings you've chosen. So if you do install my shaders, then I'd say disable the shader program you're using. Um, because it, it'll cause conflicts and it probably just won't look right. But it's pretty easy to install. set a course and uh, we can probably level off at 7,000 so we will and that will help us pick up some speed and set off that right so how do you install this Basically, um, you'll in my Discord. Uh, the link is in the description box below. There is a, a file that will be in my free Flight Sim Assets channel. Once you unzip that folder, uh, you will be presented with this. So, um, 
Once you open that zip folder, you'll be presented with this. You'll have your volumetric cloud CFG. I really suggest reading the README first. And you also have a profile if you are on a HDR uh, monitor or uh, like a high UHD sort of HDR monitor, or if you're on a HD monitor, uh, use these profiles by basically going down into the search, typing color and open the color management panel and make sure that you're setting your profile for your monitor to one of these. If, you, if you've got HDR activated, use this one. If you don't have it activated, use this one. Um, also, I really recommend running through the calibrate your display as well. Once you've done that, um, there will be a, a, a P3D CFG file uh, with sort of entries and settings that I really recommend using in your P3D CFG um, to get the same exact results as you see here. Now, those entries um, in that file um, will work with any version of P3D at the end of the day, but um, in order to get your look exactly like this, and we will skip ahead in the time a little bit, so you'll see the daytime and you'll see the sunset as well during this flight, um, I really recommend using those settings. So the easiest thing to do with this is go into your P3D uh, root folder for the installation. It's really easy on how to install this. Basically take these files folders here and copy control C or right click and copy and then just paste into the root folder and say yes to overwriting anything it asks you to overwrite and that is it now <clears throat> every time there is a every time you repair your sim every time you um, install a landscape add-on like Orbex Global or even verify those files as well, you must reinstall this pack. In fact, let's skip ahead the time a bit, shall we? Shall we go uh, to 5.59, I think. There we go. So there's the sun is now coming up over this uh, land in about 10 minutes I think the night lighting will kick off as well but for me I think this really looks a lot better than what you'll be getting at default level uh, looks much more realistic and natural uh, clouds look far better the sky has a gradient rather than sort of you can see a step thing happening let's do a turn before we head out to sea Head north, I think. Um, I, th I think it just looks far better at all times of the day and all locations around the world. Um, this one uh, looks like the previous 5.3 um, only really looked really good, I feel, at certain times of the day and in certain locations of the world. But... Um, this one it does look a lot better and I don't know if that's more down to the sim than my pack but I've tested this in like five to six different locations around the world and at different times and I love it absolutely love it um, it's a shame I'll be moving on to version 6 to be fair where um, most of this isn't needed like it's a different sky system so the sky pack won't be there the terrain pack I'll, I'll be able to um, sort of rework for that as well as the, the oceanic pack but um, yeah I, I will miss version 5 I will keep it installed a little bit longer but I will miss it because I'll be mainly using version 6 for all the benefits that I get there but uh, that's basically it guys that is exactly how you use it so we're going to just skip ahead the time again um, to let's see let's just go straight to the daytime so this is like the worst time because the sun is directly above us so it is kind of like the worst time uh to show anything i i think um i mean dawn and dusk is because it's that time of transition and the lighting has to be perfect otherwise it looks weird but the 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 harsh light of daytime um doesn't make the the the, the shadows sort of look beautiful you know whereas your dawn and dusk times shadows look beautiful you know 
So this is kind of like the worst time for those shadows. So the ground textures and the ground objects kind of look the worst almost because there's no there's no shadow on anything I find. <coughs> you can probably see the um, the textures a lot better here. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean we're not actually that far over the textures to be fair, but let's get in the flight deck. And actually, let's get over the ground. Like I said, I'm going to do a separate video on the settings that you can use. Um, you don't have to use the settings for uh, to use this pack. You know, my settings in my uh, flight sim, which I'll show at the end of this video, <coughs> are just my personal ones. They're not required for the use of this pack. Um, the only requirement for the pack to, to work as intended is the effects and the water um, sliders need to be at maximum, and that is it. Other than that, anything else goes. Um, same with the GPU, there's no required settings there, but I do, I will show, have a, t a separate video showing my GPU settings because I really feel like I found uh, a good setup for performance uh, versus visuals. So. One thing I will say is using my train pack will probably increase your VRAM by about one gig, and that is it. Um, whatever you had before, it will just add a gig to that, um, and that's it. It's hardly noticeable. So in heavy, heavy city areas, you might need to reduce your sliders to control that VRAM so you don't over, you know, spend and cause a DXGI. So what my pack does add is these fields down below. Where are we? These fields here are a part of my terrain pack. So those are the, the whatever fields are in the sim by Orbex or default will be replaced by these types of fields and trees added. As you can see, the trees um, are are there. You can you can't really see them at this height. If you zoom in though, you can see them. They cover a lot more of an expansive area. Um, I've added entries that basically batch, will batch in a lot more trees. So it really is a tree haven um, for for your sim when you use my P3D CFG settings. Um, it's, uh, yeah. It is a lot better, I feel. Right, so that's basically it. Let's go to the uh, the worst time of the day, which is the dusk time, and we'll see what it looks like there. So this is basically the, as red as it gets. You see the night lighting is kicked in. But that's basically it. Guys, 
thank you for watching this video. Don't forget I give away uh, 50 euros every single month of Sim Market vouchers. All you have to do to be with a chance to win is be a subscriber to my channel, leave a comment down below in any one of my P3D videos, and at the end of every single month, I go live with a vlog on YouTube, and I announce the giveaway winner. And you just contact me on my About page, and I get your vouchers out to you. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, happy flights in version 5. And I'll see you in the virtual skies, guys. Bye-bye.